Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. My name is Wendy Lee from creativelyyours.com. If you don't already know who I am, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the US and so glad that you're here joining me for today's paper crafting fun. I feel like it's been weeks since I've seen all of you. I recorded all the content the past few weeks, so I was still with you every week in heart and spirit, right? Um, so I appreciate you guys still tuning in, even though I recorded while I was on vacation. So I hope that you enjoyed all the projects that I shared with you. So what are we going to do today? So today we're going to deal with a basic weight card and how to step it up by doing just three simple things. Fun? Yes, I love it. I love a basic weight card personally. And we're going to be using one of my favorite current stamp sets, which, you know, changes from week to week sometimes, right? But right now I'm really into the layering leaves stamp set. This is a million dollar stamp set. Um, a million dollars. It does not cost a million dollars. It's actually a very inexpensive stamp set. But this one was um, part of Rachel Tessman's um, project that she, or stamp set that she got to work with the Stampin' Up! design team to create for all of us to use. And I love it. So Rachel is a friend of mine and I love her creativity. So I'm glad that I can use her set and support um, her achievement. Yes. So I do have a peek behind me. I will try to pull those down at the end of the, today's video so you guys can get a good look. That is this month's Cultivated Creativity Kit. Oh my God, those projects are gorgeous. You're going to love them. So if you're already a subscriber to the kit, you will get yours. They will ship out uh, July 1st. Registration closes June 20th, but you don't want to miss them. They are fantastic. So I'll show you those uh, at the end of today's video. So let me switch the camera over and let's start our fun, right? <laughs> oh, I love that we've got so many people here. Uh, Alina, I think you're new. I'm so glad that you're here from Argentina. Love that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Hey, Susan. Hey, Kay. And I saw Connie and Jean. I'm not sure who else is here, but I saw all of you. Um, awesome. Oh my gosh, Susan, you speak Spanish as well. Wow. I have no idea what you're saying, but I'm very excited that you speak Spanish. Who knew, right? The things you learn about everyone as we go, right? All right. So today we are using, as I mentioned, the Layering Leaves stamp set. Again, this was, you'll see this little million dollar um, icon on it because this was designed by a demonstrator, Rachel Tessman, to um, give us all some fun inspiration. So I love this stamp set. I love the size of the font. I love the variety of fonts. And these little elements are fantastic. And they coordinate with our bow punch. Now this has been in the catalog for a bit. Um, and I've had it for a long time, but I didn't use it much. But now that we have a stamp set that goes with it, it just makes it even more amazing. So um, I'm not using the punch today, but we are using both of these products in our June Cultivated Creativity Kit. So I wanted you to see that they do coordinate. Today, we're just gonna use this stamp set. Let me show you the project we're gonna make. This is what we're gonna do. So super simple, fast and easy, but we are taking a weight card, just a plain weight card, right? And we're making it a little more wow, right? It's got a little um, bit more going on. So we're doing three things. So one, we are um, coming in and we are adding this little layer of white to frame. So isn't that nice? It gives it a nice, finished look when you just add that simple extra layer in there. We're going to add a little texture with this label here. Now you could have stamped directly right on to the project, but I love all this little stitch detail. And that came in from the um, Cheerful Daisies. Wanted to make sure I said that correctly. The Cheerful Daisies um, stamp set. And then let me look and see if I find my other, my note. I'm losing my notes. Yeah, the third thing is adding the splash of color. So you could do this monochromatic and I think it would be fantastic. You could do it in all shades of green. You could do it in, you know, like fall colors would be fun. I think that you can do just about what you want. Now, did I use all colors that are actual colors that you're gonna see in leaves? I know, but I don't care because I think it's festive and fun and exciting. And then we've taken the design to the inside, of course, 
we always want to take the design to the inside and added that white layer. I didn't double it on the inside, but I just added that single white layer. I think it adds a spectacular look to it. And it's a fast, easy way to use any stamp set that you've got. But of course, this leaf one is my fave. Okay, let's get started. Let me take you through this. So I'm actually going to start with my stamping. So you're going to see in the supplies, you've got two layers the same size and then one that's just slightly smaller. I believe this is three and three quarters by five and this is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. But I will put the actual measurements. Don't don't believe me. Don't trust me by my words. You got to look at what I type in there. Excuse me one second. <laughs> I got a little bit of a cough. I've got my allergies are killing me. I got lots of drainage going on. So I apologize for that if I if I cough a little bit. I tried to drink a, a hot beverage before I went on to help with that. But who knows how it'll hold out. So anyway, you've got two that are the same because one's on the inside and one's on the outside as that layer. And then our card base. And that's pretty much it, right? Super simple. You can make a stack of these in a heartbeat. So I'm going to take one of my smaller, again, I've got these three layers. These two are the same. I'm going to take my smallest layer. And we're going to do that one first. We're going to do the outside of the card base. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside and outside at the same time while I've got my ink colors out, okay? So we've got this and I am totally crooked. Let's see if I can fix my camera a little bit. There we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Um, so I'm gonna stamp my leaves and I'm just gonna work my way around. And I'm also, when I get to the colors, I'm gonna put them on the inside as well. If I remember, I might not remember. So, but I'll try to do that. <laughs> so we're gonna pull out one of these to the side and hopefully that will help me remember, right? That's my plan. All right, so this one, you do need your uh, cleaner. I don't know what you guys use to clean. When I am using stamps, I like my stamp and mist. I use my chamois, but usually when I'm using my stamp positioning tool. But for everyday stamping, I love my scrub and mist. It's got two sides to it. You've got your little mist bottle. I spray one side wet, leave the other side dry. And that makes it super fast and easy to do my cleaning. So I'm gonna set this to a side. I'm gonna show you how I do my cleaning in just a moment. So let's start with our colors. I am going to start with Lemon Lime Twist. So this is a returning color. We had this a few years ago. I don't remember my years. I've got it written down somewhere. Jean will know. Jean will remind us what year it was, right? I know Jean knows these things. So Lemon Lime Twist. So this is my lightest green I'm using. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this on the inside as well. Just in that little corner there. All right. Now I'm going to clean my stamp. I want to clean it between each color. So if I was doing a stack of these, which I have made a stack of these, actually my helper technically has made a stack of these. Um, this is the bonus card that I'm going to include in this month's Cultivated Creativity Kit. So each month we include a bonus project that we give the tutorial to. Um, and we, we always include a project that we make to kind of as a little thank you, right? I'm moving to Granny Apple Green next and we're gonna stamp this in. And I'm just kind of rotating the leaf a little bit as I go in. You can have it stick out as much or as little as you want as you work on this. Let's go ahead and add this to the inside as well. Put my little greens going on up there. In that corner, so put that back. So again, I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna do that off camera, but you guys saw how I cleaned. I wiped it up, I think I did, I showed you, right? We Wash it on one side, dry it on the other, and now it's ready to change colors. Super easy, fast, fast, simple. Love it, love it, love it. When my scrub starts to get a little funky with ink, I will um, just run it under some warm water. You can use a little soap if you need to, if it gets really funky. You can put it in the dishwasher. I don't typically put mine in the dishwasher, but you could if you wanted to, right? Um, so I just wanted you to know that. I would take the pads out if you're gonna put it in the dishwasher. All right, so let's add some Coastal Cabana. Okay, and then I'm gonna put that on the inside as well. All right, so there's my kind of bluish greens up at the top there. And again, I'm just working my way around the edge of my card and just changing my colors as I go. All right, so now we're gonna move into a little bit more blue. So our Coastal Cabana was kind of our transition between blues and greens. And now I'm going to bring in, is this Tahitian Tide? Tahitian Tide is my next color. So you're like, Wendy, oh my God, how many ink colors are you going to use? I have a bunch. I, I won't lie. I'm using a ton of them. You do not have to do that. You could change yours and not use as many ink colors as I'm using. And that's fine. 
Now I'm not going to bring this color to the inside. I'm going to wait a moment. <clears throat> I'm going to bring the next color in. So let me clean this in between again. Don't want to forget to do that. I don't want to muddy up my colors. Now, sometimes if your scrub gets a little funky, even though I've cleaned this, I might have some residual ink. So you can always stamp off on your scrap paper if need be before you ink it up in the next color. All right, so this one is Azure Afternoon. So this is one of our new colors. Love that, love it, love it, love it. Let's bring this one to the inside as well. Just put that down in the bottom. Kind of fun. But yes, so I include, I was talking about this and I don't know if I finished my thought, but we do include a finished project in each of our kits. And the tutorial is included as a bonus to the five projects that you're already making for Cultivated Creativity. So I think it's a lot of fun. Um, we've had some good feedback from that. So if you're a Cultivated Creativity subscriber, chime in and let people know what you think about it. Let me know. I wanna know, I wanna make sure you guys are happy. So this is Blueberry Bushel. So I'm gonna go ahead and Add that to the inside as well. Nice. Like the depth of that. It's funny because blueberry bushel is also a returning color that we had a few years ago. And you know what? I didn't love it before. It was a color I struggled to use. But this round, I am loving it. I'm using it a lot. Kind of crazy, right? I think it's all timing of what's speaking to you and where you're at in your crafting journey. All right. Night of Navy. I'm going to slide in a little navy leaf right here in this bottom to kind of fill in my little white space. Okay, let's clean that. I'm saying that out loud to myself so I don't forget to clean between, right? All right, so let's move on into some purples. So let's pull in some Blackberry Bliss. Do that next. Nice. Are you guys liking this? Is this something you've done before? What other images do you think this would work great with? I'm thinking flowers would be great. Okay, gorgeous grape is our next color. So I'm kind of going back lighter again. I'm gonna go a little deeper in that, nice. And let's bring this color to the inside as well. All right, so my inside is stamped the way I want it. I went a little deeper on the greens as far as how far in and a little less depth on the um, the blue purple, but I like it. So if that bothered you, flip it over and try again. You get two sides, right? Every time, two sides to the paper. All right, perfect. Let me clean this one last time. And I'm going to make sure that this is nice and clean because I'm switching to a lighter color and that purple sometimes will leave some residue. All right, so I think I'm pretty clean there. Let's move into Melon Mambo. So yeah, I definitely recommend starting with your lightest color first and then you have the least amount of ink transfer, I think. All right, so there's my Melon Mambo. So I've kind of come back up the other side. I think it's fun. All right, cleaning that. Not that I need to clean it right this second, but that way I'm nice and clean and I'm ready to make another project in just a moment. Today is, is uh, I've got a lot of stuff to do today, but a lot of it is design work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and layer this right on this other white layer, right? Just give it that pretty finished touch. Okay, and we're just going to put that down. I have been, as I'm putting my layers down, if I'm struggling getting it even, I've decided I'm looking at three sides and the fourth side is gonna just end up how it is. So I'm looking at the top three here. If I can get it centered this way and up there, that it looks similar to this, I've just decided to let the bottom go. Sometimes my cutting's not very good. And um, you know, I don't know if you guys do that as well. Sometimes we can be a little wide or narrow in, in one direction or the other. And I've just decided to let that go, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get our card base in. So I'm using thick basic white. I prefer a thicker card base. So um, when I'm using white or vanilla, I use the thick cardstock for my card base 99.999% of the time. Every once in a while, I might use the regular weight, um, but it depends on if I'm doing a crazy fun fold or something. That's, that's the only time I would do that. Oh, good, you're loving the burst of color. I'm glad. I love it too. All right, so I'm actually gonna flip this around. 
um, opposite of what I did on the last one, I'm going to put this in because I like the shallower images up top and the, the you know, I'm further in on the paper at the bottom. I'm going to put that at the bottom. Just kind of switch it around a little bit. It makes it opposite of what I've got on the front, but I think that's okay. And again, I'm looking at these three sides and the bottom is going to be what the bottom is going to be. Sometimes I'll look down here and let the top be what it's going to be. But so now I have plenty of space to write. You could add another sentiment. I mean, this stamp set has several that you could do. I'm going to leave this blank and leave it fairly generic, right? For these purposes today. And then let's pop this up on the front. I want to give it a little height, a little texture. You guys that know me know that I like lots of layers. I like lots of dimension and texture on my project. So this still keeps it simple, but allows us to add a little bit of height. And it's not going to be too thick to pop in the mail. All right. At least in the U.S. I am not sure about other countries and what their rules are. All right. Oh, I did it upside down. But you know what? That's okay. That was not intentional, I promise you. I did not do that on purpose. That was completely an accident. So I've got it upside down. So now it does coordinate <laughs> sort of with my inside. Again, that was not intentional, but you know, happy mistakes. We're going to go with it. <laughs> uh, nothing like creating live. <laughs> uh, our minds don't always work the way we think they're going to, right? Okay, I'm going to use Memento Black Ink. And I'm bringing in the hello sentiment. And I've already die cut this label. So let me show you that. So this is the uh, Cheerful Daisies Dies. Loving the Daisy stamp set. So this is actually um, the featured suite of this month's all-star tutorial uh, video class bundle. Whoa. Excuse me. So each month we are I'm in a group, right, uh, with some global demonstrators. And we do a vi video class uh, tutorial every month for you. It's got 12 um, tutorials in there using the products from the suite. So it gives you a lot of great ideas. It'll show you how to pull in some coordinating products as well. We're not stuck with just the suite, although the suites are always fabulous. And, and you know, Stampin' Up! does such a great job of coordination so that you can just get the suite and use it. So, all right. So taking all of this this is the die that I pulled and cut my sentiment. You could use any die, any favorite die that you've got. You could use a punch if you prefer a punch. That's a little simpler if you're not ready to die cut. I love die cutting, partially because of, you know, little stitched edging like that that adds the fabulousness to your project. All right, so I just stamped in black. You could use any of these colors or you could bring in another color. I just think black was a nice, bold choice, and we'll go with, with anything, right? All right. <clears throat> so now that we've switched our card, do we still put our sentiment up in the leaves, or do we put it down? What do you guys think? Think I should keep it up in the leaves, like I did the original? Or do you think I should keep it down position-wise? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you tell me. Oh, good. You like the techniques? And you're going to make, make the card. Good, good, good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Mary, thank you so much. Yes, I, Jean, I think I am still on the cruise. It's funny, um, a week later after we got off the cruise, well, maybe it wasn't a full week. So we got off the cruise, uh, I think that was Friday, June 2nd. And then we went back to Connecticut to my son's house. So, um, and then we got home midweek last week, like Wednesday-ish. Um, and my husband and I went out to dinner because because it was late. We didn't feel like cooking. And I'm sitting at the restaurant and I felt like the ship was moving, <laughs> which is weird because it had been several days since we've been off the ship. But whatever. I know that's silly. OK, so Jean, you are uh, Kay, you're saying to put it down lower on the project. So keep my position and let those. OK, I'm doing it unless somebody else got another opinion. I know there's quite the delay um, between the chat and. Uh, when I'm speaking. So <clears throat> I might wait just a second more and do that. But yes. Oh, I know what I'll do while we're doing that. Let me pull down these cultivated creativity projects. And then I could show you those as well. Well, before we finish up our last little bit, love it, love it, love it. Uh, if I can reach them. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and finish this card and then we'll, we'll do those. Uh, I'll show you those sneak peeks. All right. So we're going to pop this label on 
Tay says to put it down lower, so I'm going to put it down lower. I think you can put it anywhere your heart desires. It makes no difference, right? But that's fun to be able to change it up. So I'm going to put this one down. So who knows? Somebody might get this one in their cultivated creativity kit, or they might not. <laughs> this may stay with me. It's hard to say. All right, let's pull in some iridescent basic pearls. Okay, who else is a big fan of these? These are my fave. I, I have four packs and a partial here. Let's see. I, I like to put mine in baggies. I don't know how you guys store your um, embellishments, but I like to, to me, these packages are way too small, right? I don't want to try to pop them in and out. So as I order, I've got four packs here. Um, as I order, I take baggies. Like this was probably had tear and tape or something in it. Who knows? So I'll save these. And um, when I get my embellishments, I will plop them in there. That way I know how many packs I have. I store mine in a drawer. That might not be the best place out of sight, out of mind. But because I'm um, big on embellishments on my projects, I'm always opening my drawer that has embellishments in it. So they're not, even though they may be stored out of sight, they're not out of my mind because I love some blank on my cards, right? So this just helps me know how much I have. And if I have something I need for a class. All right, so Mary votes for Donna as well. Perfect. So I'm gonna, since I've got little strips cut off these, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull some off of here. So let's see if we can do that. So got my take your pick and let's see if I can hold on to this. These are so hard when I cut them down like this. So I apologize when you get a craft kit for me and I've given me, you these little pieces of uh, the embellishments on there. I'm sorry if that's difficult to get off. I find them difficult. I like the whole sheet. <laughs> uh, you know how that goes. All right, so we've got three there. Let's add some more, why not? I did on this other one, so we'll do that on here too. Now on the other one, I put them in, like I could have flipped this upside down and done them the same as I did on the original sample. Like I could have flipped it and done it like that. But I'm kind of working with my sentiment here. So I think I'm gonna keep them kind of the same position, even though my stamping's different. Who knows? That might not be a good decision, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put one maybe here. And let's add one more little one. If I can get it off there. Oh, that's bigger. Why did opposite? That's fine. It's all fine. We don't need to worry one way or the other. All right, so we've got a sprinkling. One, two, three, four. We've got six on there. So I know we say work in odds in odd numbers. So you can kind of play with this a little bit in your perspective of how you look at these. So you can do three and three. So I've got two sets of odds, maybe. <laughs> or you can look at it as the total of six and add a seventh one on there, whatever makes your heart happy, right? I'm going to leave it how I've got it. Oh, good, Susan. Yes, I love these pearls as well. Um, I was not surprised nor disappointed when Stampin' Up! retired the basic pearl jewels, which I don't get me wrong, I loved them, but these are gorgeous. Um, they don't do justice. I can't, I can't have the lighting and everything work out perfectly so that you could see how fantastic these are. Actually, let me take them out of the package. The iridescent is, it just makes them so much more special, right? Um, it captures some color, right? So whatever you're working with, it's going to pick up that color. Yeah, I can. I can't to get it to look even remotely as fabulous as it is in, in person. You just have to get some. That's it. Buy some, get them on your list, try them out, and you're going to, like me, be ordering packs and packs and packs. Okay, so here are, is our project today. Lovely. Do you have a preference? Do you like my mistake where I did it upside down? Or do you like the original better? You guys have to let me know. All right, let me pull in those cultivated creativity. I hope you guys give this a try. I'd love to see, uh, share your projects with me. Share them with, with me on Instagram or like tag me on your Instagram. Uh, I am at, at, at S-U Wendy Lee. Or you can find me over on my Facebook page. Um, again, S-U Wendy Lee is where you find me on social media, right? You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Pinterest. Uh, tag me. Or you could post it on my Facebook uh, group, my business group, if you'd like to. My Creatively Your Studio um, is a group for my uh, community. And uh, it's free to join. You can just come in. It's open to the public. Um, so let me show you these Cultivated Creativity Projects. So here's this one. We've I've done a version similar to this um, fold in another live with different products. But... Um, 
This is just lovely. We're going to do some embossing. We've got some torn edge going on and um, we brought that design to the inside. So super fun with there. I'm missing an element on this one. There's a little die cut element that goes in here. Uh, my dies came in and they had a die missing. So um, that is on its way to me. So I will finish this, but this is a fun notepad. So this is a little pocket. You can slide things in a little notepad cover. So that's our not a card. One project is always not a card. Okay, you like the mistake better. Okay, perfect, perfect. And then this one, love this touch of shimmer paper. So much fun. And then this is fun, a little lattice card or however you wanna call this, I call it lattice. And we've got a little pocket in the front. So you got a little seed packet that slides down in your pocket. And then brought that design to the inside. So lots and lots of fun. And then we do have one fun fold, right? Easy Z folds, double Z maybe, however you wanna call that. So cute, right? So we're gonna do some embossing. Um, we're going to do some sponge job brain. So there's a few little basic techniques that you're going to learn if you don't already know them. And if you already know them, you're still going to make fabulous projects. So there's always something new that you can try and learn in each kit. So we try to make those projects, um, <laughs> excuse me, fun and interesting, but um, also hopefully grow your skills as you go. So, all right, perfect. If you've got questions on anything, let me know. Leave me a comment below. If I missed something that you asked a question about, please uh, leave me a comment and I will go back um, and answer that for you. Um, but hopefully I didn't miss any, but you never know. Sometimes it goes uh, a little quickly. Okay. So you guys like, so several of you like the mistake better. Some of you like both, uh, but that's side down one a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of fun, right? Who knew? <laughs> Perfect. So um, after this video, it'll take me a few minutes, but I will get um, the complete supply list attached. So you'll have to expand the description of the video to show more and scroll down and you'll see the complete supply list and um, all the cut dimensions so that you can create this one on your own. And then I will have a blog post to also go out on my blog. I'm going to try to post it later today versus tomorrow morning. Um, and uh, that will also give you a printable download that you can uh, print off the recipe. All right, perfect. Thank you all for joining me. And I hope to see you all again next Tuesday. And if you're a club member, I will see you tonight at our normal time in our private Facebook group. Thank you all and 